this question seems to be uh, bothering a lot of people in both classes. We're going to asked to write an equation. Okay, remember equation table graph? Well, this is asking for an equation. Equation of a line whose slope is zero. So that's the A part of the question. Write an equation of a line whose slope is zero and another one whose slope is undefined. So you have to write two equations of two different lines. And in top of that, on top of that, you have to graph each line and explain the difference in your own words, okay, of the two different types of lines and the graphs and the equations and everything to do with them. Well, people are getting stuck. I've given some hints. Here's my hints in green. Here's the first thing you can think about is the fact that we've given you the slope. M. Use the fact that M is rise over run. And in this case, that's zero. Okay? Rise over run is zero. What does that mean in terms of a fraction? All right? Um, don't move it around. It shakes. Right. It's a problem. So just focus in on this, on my hand. Just zoom it in. Or is it already zoomed in? It's just right. like that. And leave it there. Okay? Right. Now let my hand do the moving and not the camera. Fantastic. All right, so rise over run equals zero, okay? That means that in this fraction, what's going to be zero? The bottom of the fraction or the top of the fraction? Bottom. Adam? The top of the fraction. The top of the fraction, right? That's just logical. This is going to be the zero part, and what's the run going to be? Could be any number. So what do we put for any number? What kind of variable? Taylor? Charlie? X, right. That's the point of algebra. Algebra is all about the unknown, and we call usually the unknown X. In this case, this represents any number. You could pick one, you could pick two, you could pick three, you could pick four. So what's our table going to look like if we did a table? If this was x and y, okay? What's our x going to be? Any number. any number. So give me any number. One, two, seven. Three. One, two, seven, <laughs> negative three, zero. Okay, fair enough. What's our y going to be? Zero. Could be zero, yeah. For everything? Yeah. yeah. That's going to be weird. Really? Okay. That's going to be odd, isn't it? Wait, no. no. Well, how, what kind of point, what kind of line are we going to get if we plot that now? Uh, Connor? This is a straight line. Straight line. Horizontal. Remember this? Remember? Oh. This. Okay. So that's important to know. You need to know right away that this is zero slope. Zero slope. Okay. Zero slope is slope is not a point. People get that confused, right, Charlie? Slope is not a point. So how are we going to find, we still are looking for the equation of the line. I mean, we have that nice lemon cake over there, and, and nobody's able to give me an equation of the line. We're still not there yet. Let's graph it. Well, that's part of the question. How do we graph that? We're going to put, yeah, go ahead, Connor. Uh, we go over to the right one. One. Then we go over to the right two. Yeah. Then we go over to the right seven. OK, we go over here. Yeah, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. And then we go over to the left three. Yeah. And good. then we find it right in the middle. Uh, right, exactly. So what have we got? We've got points all along the y-axis. Here's our line. And what do we call that line? Hmm. We don't have an equation. We're still looking for the equation of the line. And nobody's able to give me the equation of the line. Well, let's go back to what are equations. Give me some formulas for equations. Jonathan, what's the most famous equation of line? The most famous equation. Okay, dude. All right, so guess what? If you go to y equals mx plus b, can we see this for the name over here? Yeah. Can you see that? y equals mx plus b. Well, m, Raman, m is zero. Well, what is that going to look like? How do we, what's the next step here? Well, we got to solve for b. Yeah. What do we get? y equals? Zero. Zero x. No, zero x is just zero. We don't have to write it down anymore, do we? Plus b. y equals just b. What about zero? zero. Zero's gone, dude. Zero times x zero is times, zero. Zero times x is zero. It disappeared. The queen of all, of all numbers can come and go as she pleases, and she's just chosen to leave. Zero times x is zero. Zero times x is zero. Never, you never confuse that. So y equals b. We're almost there, right? What is what is b? Anything. Anything. Not anything. Why b is specifically called the uh, y intercept. Y intercept, right? That's the y intercept. So it's zero. Is that yeah. Yes. So have we got an equation of the line? Yeah. What is our equation of the line? Y equals b. 
But no, B is not a number. We need y, 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 y equals what? Zero x plus zero. Okay, but do we need to write zero x? No. Zero. So what is our equation of the line? Thank you. Does that make any sense at all? No. Why not? Why not? Why not? Just a second. What is wrong with that, Bernadette? Wait, so is the answer y equals zero? It absolutely is. It absolutely y equals zero. And look at the line right here. Does it make any sense? Is the y-intercept zero? Yeah, it is. It goes through right at zero. And does this chart make sense? Look at the x values. They can be whatever they want. In other words, the run is anything it wants to be. But the rise is zero. There's no rise. The slope is zero. That's our equation of the line. Well, give me another example of what this could be. This was not the only answer. You could have had other equations of lines. What would be another example? What else? Any number. Any number. OK, good. But what would be the equation of the line? What's another equation of the line with slope zero? Yeah y2 minus y1 Okay, oh, okay, all right, let's do that. y2 minus y1 <laughs> over x2 minus x1. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's do that, Roman. Fine, fine, no problem. Look what happens if we do that, guys. Check it out. If we do that, we have two points. Guess what? Whatever points you pick on these horizontal lines, what's going to happen to them? What are you going to get on the top? Yeah. Zero. Zero. The only way that can happen is if the, the y's are the same. 5 minus 5, for instance. Zero. Yeah. And then what about the bottom? Well, that could be 4 minus 6 or 10 minus 7. 0 over 7 or 0 over 8 could be slope so zero. But what I'm, I didn't ask for that. I'm asking for another line. Give me another example of a line whose slope is zero. Hello. This right here is not. This is not slope zero. The only way you can have a line with slope zero is if it's straight across. It doesn't have to be through zero. Why don't we show? No. Hey, guys, go, go ahead. Draw me another graph. Here's another way to look at it. Draw me another graph of a line who's got, who has zero slope. Oh, so then that would mean. Come up and do it. Draw me another graph. You can. Come on. No, yes, you can. I think I, I think okay, here we go. Listen so up. So Hold on. Wait, wait, what's y equals one? Oh, hold on a second. What has she got here? I think she's on to something. I can smell that lemon cake. <laughs> We're almost there, guys. Even Kristen's in this. I, I understand. You ready? You know it? Okay, wait a second here. All right, I think we're getting close. Now, the equation of this line is y equals zero because it goes through zero, and there's no slope. The m is gone. We wiped it out. The m was out of the equation, so it was y whatever b is, and the y-intercept happens to be zero. Another line could exist above or below this. And she's saying, what about the line y equals 1? Well, what do you guys think? y equals 1. What would that look like? What kind of line would that be? It would look parallel to this. Parallel. Nice one. Same slope. <laughs> same slope. Parallel lines have the same slope. They all have slope of 0. So I'm going to draw it. And what would it be? Horizontal or vertical? This way or that way? Horizontal. All right. I'm going to, can I do this then? Is that all right with you? Because uh, I'm drawing another example. Oh, that's bad. So you know that it's You told me. Yeah. Oh, that's even worse. I'm doing it. I told you, Katrina, could you, I, would, I want you to come up here and do this. Right? You want to see me suffer. All right. She's laughing at me. I'm a All right. Um, okay, so that's, this one is y equals 0. What's this one equal to? Y equals 1. Do they both have zero slope? Yes. They both have zero slope. They're parallel. They both have zero slope. They both have equations. What's the similarity? They both say y equals something. And guess what? All right? The table would look a little different in this case. What would the table look like? 1, 1, 2, 1, 7, 1. Negative three.